thinking about what the way you feel about Christianity and abortion now and sin and all that because you are wrong and by you thinking about it maybe you get back on the right track what's up y'all welcome back man today we are talking about Jesse Lee Peterson apparently he had some savage moments and he is going to be speaking to people about um about um, abortion my body my choice and uh it's supposed to be hilarious now look We've trusted Vanessa on many of our videos, okay? And so I'm I'm gonna go ahead and trust her on this one. So y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. And uh shout out to hatsforsale.com who has been sending us hats and they are also doing the outwork yesterday hashtag on our hats too. I'm not wearing one of those right now, obviously. I'm wearing another one because this drink right here is fly. I don't care what nobody say right here. Yes, sir. And if you use the promo code, you get 10% off and free shipping anywhere in the entire nation. All right, let's go. I've got a lot of family here, some of whom are here in the audience tonight. Um, I also had my first abortion at the Seattle Planned Parenthood. Yay! Did she say I had my first abortion and this started saying, yay! Notice I said first. <laughs> oh, wow. So she had a few of them. <laughs> if I could Yelp review wow. it. I totally would. Wow. Yes, mm -hmm. I had abortion in Seattle. Abortion is still one of the most divisive issues in America today. I have with me Dr. Willie Parker and OBGYN specializing in abortions. He's also the author of Life's Work, A Moral Argument for Choice. Dr. Parker has been featured in Esquire, NPR, New York Times, Rolling Stone, Newsweek, and more. Thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. What made you decide, you know what? I'm gonna do abortions. Somebody once said, when you wrestle with your conscience and you lose, you actually win. The reality is that one in three women in this country by the time they're age 45 will have an abortion. Amazing. And it's the most common uh, health care procedure that is offered. It's also one of the safest, but it's also one of the most controversial because it is a decision that is unique to women. Oh, it's controversial because you're, you're killing babies. That's why it's so controversial. I mean, literally. It's, that's why it's so controversial. My awareness as a physician of what happens to women when that care is not available uh, convicted me around uh, what it meant to be a woman's health care provider and to be a Christian, which ultimately led me to conclude that there was nothing doctrinally or specific about abortion in sacred texts, whichever one you're talking about, nor was there anything that prohibited women from having control over their lives and their bodies to make the same decisions that men are entitled to make as moral agents. That's amazing. Um, how is abortion a health care procedure? So when uh, a woman has a pregnancy that uh, affects her health or that she decides to end, if she doesn't have an opportunity to end it safely, anything that risks or ends your, uh, that uh, poses a risk to your health is a healthcare issue. I mean, it's a healthcare issue for the baby, the unborn child, and that you're killing the baby. Baby is a cultural term. It's not a scientific or a medical term. And you're not a baby before you're born. Because did you say baby is a cultural term? Okay, I, okay. They're getting into the weeds of the science of it all and in um, and the different ways to address the cells that are not yet baby because it's not born yet. And it's not... I guess that's what they're saying. But at the end of the day, we all know what it is. Because of our laws, you're not entitled to block a woman from having an abortion or you're not entitled to force a woman to agree with your but definition. But aren't you taking a life... I disagree with you. I but understand you what you're killing, saying. You are killing an unborn oh, wow. child, right? Uh, I'm not killing an unborn child. You're taking I'm the life of pregnancy. an unborn child. I'm ending a pregnancy. But does that require you to take the life of the child that's in the woman's womb? I don't define a pregnancy as a child. And I'm like, does I said, it have a life? Uh, is it a living? It is a living entity. It right. is a life. It so is a human being because women don't have puppies, so but it is not a baby. And if it were a baby, it would be a person, correct? So well, let, me, is, let me finish. So the reality let, is you are taking a life. So is that do, true or not? Do, do you want to have a dialogue yeah, or do you want, you want to let, you want to let me ask, answer your question or do you want to answer my question? Answer the question about okay. are you taking a life? Okay, yes, an abortion ends a life. If you call the police, will they come and arrest me? 
that still doesn't take away the fact that you're taking wow that's that's the way for you to look at it <laughs> i'm taking a life but i'm doing it legally so that's okay well just because you do it legally does not make it um um less immoral immoral i mean like think about this in other countries they can legally drag somebody out to the street and stone them to death <laughs> Right? They can legally do that. They're not going to go to jail for it because they can legally do that. You feeling what I'm saying? Does that make it right? Probably not. Probably not. Taking a life. Is it That's possible you believe. could be wrong now? And yes, it is. Oh, okay. is. Is it possible that you could be wrong? No. You can't imagine how you could possibly be wrong. And I question myself all the time. Voltaire I said I would that, if I were you. I, I, Let me do this. Have you ever changed your mind about anything? I have. Okay. That's why I'm glad that you're at least thinking about what the way you feel about Christianity and abortion now and sin and all that. Because you are wrong. And by you thinking about it, maybe you get back on the right track. This isn't about, you didn't invite me. I'm here at your, at, I came here at your invitation without knowing anything about who you are and what your agenda is. And I didn't come here to have you <laughs> openly scrutinize what you think my moral compass is. If you want to talk about abortion, if you want to talk about the right of women, let if me, you don't want to talk about that, we can end the interview. And I'm happy let to me have had this opportunity. This and then we'll move on. Do you believe that there's good and evil? I absolutely do. You do, okay. And is it good to perform abortions or evil? <laughs> it's good to perform abortions when women seek them and they need them and they ask. My man. <laughs> real calm with it too he's real calm when he's like okay i will i'm gonna ask you one more question we're gonna move on do you do you believe in uh good and evil do you think it's good or evil to do what you're doing for a living <laughs> that's the most hilarious man or evil it's good to perform abortions when women seek them and they need them and they ask me to do it and I'm trained to do it and I provide it for them. Yes, it is, is it good, good to provide for the for unborn them. child. Uh, I don't know what an unborn child is. I know what a fetus is. I know what, when you give birth, is you become a child. Or evil for I know the how fetus? to end the person. Uh, is it good or evil for the fetus? Uh, um, I don't, I don't really, I don't relate to life in terms of absolute good and evil. So do you believe that there's good and evil? I absolutely do. You do. Okay. I don't, I don't really, I don't relate to life in terms of absolute good and evil. So does it bother you that it might be evil to the fetus? It doesn't bother me at all because Amazing. a fetus can't be more important than the woman carrying it. Get back to this. That's ridiculous. Right. Okay. Uh, it's ridiculous because you don't agree with it. And that's fine. If that's your you, metric, who, you, everything I might say might be ridiculous to you because maybe it's perplexing to you that people think for themselves. No, it's but, not perplexing. But, but it is. You're because, not thinking for yourself. Okay, well, I'm not thinking the way you think you I think. You are not thinking for okay, yourself. Okay, well, I'll accept One that. One thing I know for sure, Okay. and without a doubt, uh -huh. there's some things I'm not sure about, but the one thing I am sure about, uh -huh. you're not thinking for yourself. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, how many abortions have you uh, performed in your career? As many as necessary. And how many is that? What difference does it make if it's a thousand or a hundred thousand? <laughs> Why well, you don't think that would make a difference? Okay, what difference does it make? Oh, <laughs> he is pissed. He is pissed right now. And my man Jesse Lee Peterson is just chilling, like he's cooling. He don't like he's relaxed, bro. Who is this guy? <laughs> Dude, Jesse Lee Peterson is—he already got this guy. He don't want to answer any more questions. He's like, "What is it? What's the difference if I did a thousand or a hundred thousand? Well, let me ask: How, how many months do you do it at the ninth month if well, the woman wanted? No, that's not legal. Where and do you, that, if it were I, legal, I, I, would that, you do it? Uh, well. I don't answer hypotheticals because to talk about an unborn pregnancy as a baby is very inflammatory. Stages of development matter. If you say that a baby and a fetus are the same, it's like saying also an oak tree and an acorn are the same. Is it the same if you step on an acorn and as you chop down a hundred year old oak tree? It is not. And that's why First as a all, trained you can't physician. You can compare an acorn, acorn to a baby, I, a, well, a human being. You don't get lost in the analogy. That, the well, ability that's to very, think in acrylic. That's not very the, nice. The, so I want to know, once you pull this baby out of the womb. I don't after pull you, babies out of the womb. After you kill the baby inside the I womb. I don't kill babies. And you suck it out, however I, you get I it out. I remove pregnancies by standard medical techniques. And when you and see. And at 88, at, at 12 weeks, 
that as a suction procedure. And will you now, see you that talk child? About, yes, will you see that child? Does it bother you at all? It doesn't bother me at all to end a pregnancy <laughs> that a woman doesn't want because the woman who comes to me is my patient. The woman that's killing it, having her child killed on, in her womb, does she give that child life? Do, do, Nobody gives anybody life. So life what, is a process. So we all she, participate in the process of reproduction. So she doesn't give life. What gives her the right to take a life? Okay, nobody gave her life. She can't give life. We all are So here. what gives her the right to take a well, life? Well, you know. So by the... By is the, there any process, by, if you wanted to have your gallbladder she, taken out, would anybody question you? Do you have to get anybody's permission to have anything done in your body? A gallbladder and a baby is not the same. Well, a gallbladder is in your body I'm and making, a fetus is in her body. I'm making the choice about the gallbladder or the gallbladder has some problems in making the... Pre and, so, a, and women do the same thing about pregnancy. A woman who kills her children on okay. the inside is making the decision okay. about another human okay. being's okay. life. I'm, so. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to argue with you. If wanna, you want to have a, I, I've never walked out of an interview, but if you want to have a meaningful conversation, ask me some meaningful questions, okay, otherwise this interview now. is over. But I thought the whole conversation had been meaningful so far. Uh, no, because I haven't really, you haven't asked, you have. He's done nothing but ask you about your occupation. That's meaningful, bro. If, okay, think about this. You don't, you don't consider it a meaningful conversation because you're being attacked. You feel attacked. Okay, you're questioning my my moral compass, brother. What's what's your problem? I'm a successful black man, and yes, you are. Yeah, and, and and the brother has aged well, bro. Look, look at the brother. He has aged very well. I mean, he's living well. He's living good. And I think he's a pastor too. If I'm, I think he's a reverend or something like that as well. But at the end of the day, man, he's just want he just wanted want you to understand. How far this goes. Yes, the lady is making the decision for whatever reason she's making the decision. And I'm not saying that women should not have this um, have this ability to do that. They, they should be able to make these decisions for themselves. But at the end of the day, they need to understand that it goes a little further than just my health for the moment. We're talking about generations and generations and generations being wiped out by a simple, what you call, a simple um, 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 abortion. Because you look at it as something simple. But that baby could be a grown man or a grown woman who then have babies and they have babies and it goes on and on and on. But that stops right there. And you are the one that do it. And he just wants you to understand that. This probably be extremely aggressive for you. I can imagine how uncomfortable you are. I'm talking to you as if you're watching this or something. But just in case you do, somebody send this to you who, who know you. Bruh, he's not saying that you're a bad person. He's not saying that you're, you, your occupation um, sucks or, or, or anything like that. What he's doing is he wants you to understand how far this goes. He wants you to understand that a lot of people take advantage of this operation because it's there and it's available, right? And you, you're like, look, <laughs> the woman is my patient. I'm going to take care of her. I'm going to get this money. That's what, that's what you're saying. And he wants you to understand that it goes a little further than that, bro. You have asked me questions that prompted me to answer in a certain way, and then you've offered your critique. Everything has been about what's your impression of you about who me. I am and what I do. You ask right? me. Right. I ask you because I'm still trying to figure out what and the point of this is. Okay. I don't complain because I have the power of exit. I can walk out of here any moment that I want. Let me ask. I'm, in I'm, t I'm indulging you. Oh, wow. I'm indulging you. You are the physician plaintiff in a federal lawsuit uh, preventing the closing of a Mississippi only abortion clinic. Correct. Is that true? You know, I protest. I went down to Mississippi and protest that yeah. clinic. We've been fighting to get that clinic closed for yeah, a long time. That's important. That's unfortunate. It's going to happen. Because you are indifferent it's to what only that one means that's to the women, right? I'm sorry? There are actually seven states where there's only one clinic. You're going to go to each state to protest where there's one clinic left? Don't give me any idea. Should the father have a say-so about oh, his child? Uh, should the father have the say-so over uh, a process that's going on in a woman's body? No. Is that his child in the woman's body? Uh, a pregnancy, by a, when a woman is carrying a pregnancy, 
whoever she decides the, the, the paternity is related to, and if they have the kind of relationship where she wants to have that, a woman doesn't have to relinquish control of her body to anyone. My man was stuttering like, yeah. <laughs> a woman, uh, uh, whatever, uh, uh, oh, damn. Ah, I wasn't expecting this. Somebody bring me some water. Somebody bring me some water, please. <laughs> He is under pressure, bro. Is that his child inside of her body? Is, <laughs> I guess it depends on what state you're in, right? Is that uh, his child inside the woman's oh, body? Uh, yeah, no, because a woman doesn't have property. <laughs> you didn't really right? say no. No, it's not his child. It's if they continue that pregnancy well, and give how birth, is it her it's child their then? child, right? How it, is it her child? It's, it, it's when she gives them. birth. Well, I, as I said to you, uh, when you that, really said no, it's not I his said, child. It's not at night as a property as he has some claim. You put over all this that extra stuff onto it. Okay. You just said no, it's not his child. It's not his child. It's well, their child. child is it? It's their it's child. There. If because they are, have a joint. There. It's there. Please keep it there. It is there. T H E I R. I think it was I before E, except after C, or when sounded as A as a neighbor or way. There. Well, I guess it doesn't really go to that that rule then because it's not there it's there but it's still okay i don't know where i was going with that but should, uh, enterprise right should he have a say so in that uh not unless he can take all the risks that go with continuing a pregnancy no it's amazing man okay. Okay. yeah that that can be amazing when you hear that other people can think too so you believe you're thinking <laughs> does it bother you that every day between 1200 to 1500 <laughs> black babies are aborted Every day. It doesn't because doesn't I don't bother abort you either. babies. No, it doesn't. So as a doctor, did you make more babies. money before you start performing abortions or after you start? What to difference perform would it abortion? make? I'm a board certified obstetrician gynecologist. Do you make more money? What's did your you, point? Do you make more money? Did you start making more money before you started to perform I make abortions more money after, after I make more money. I like make less money than I could make. I make enough money to take care of myself. But so what you difference make, does it make? Did you start making more money after you started to what perform abortion? What difference does abortion? it make how much money I make? It's important because that might be my, your motivation. Well, whatever my motivation is, if I if I get paid for the services I provide, I'm entitled to get so paid. So when did you start making more money? My, I mean, well, making money why before does that matter? after. I'm a private citizen. I don't have to answer to you about what my finances are. And how much I, money do you make? I didn't ask you how much. I tell asked me. you when did you which, tell me when did you start making more money tell, after you started me, performing me. abortions? <laughs> tell me. After? Tell me how much you make, and I'll tell you. And then if you tell me how much you make, and then I can tell you because I, I know what I was making before and after if you tell me how much you make I can tell you I was making more money than you do before or after so that's my answer to you let me ask uh what is a man what okay okay see see he's pissed he's he's pissed and right now it's about the it's about measuring penises right now <laughs> like let's see who let's see who's most successful you, you you tell me about how much money you make and then I'm going to tell you before or after when I was making more money because either way I make more cash than your ass and you just mad that's that's where he is right now. He's like, look, bro, I'm just tired of this. Let's talk about cash, huh? Let's talk about how much money we got in the bank, huh? Let's talk about that. What is it? Yeah, what is a man? What is a man? You don't know. Uh, do you? Do you know what a man is? Uh, are you one? Do you know what a man is? Are you is? a man? Is that your, your are response you, I'm, to me? I'm, are you a man? So that's your response. I'm to asking you. Right you. Ask you. Answer me, and then I'll answer you. No, I'm asking uh, you. What is a I'm man? A, I'm a. Are you a man? So what is love? What, what What is a man? What is love? What is it? <laughs> what are you doing? You're not gonna answer the question. Oh, uh, I'll answer you your question. You are my guest. I, uh, you're the expert. Uh, my, my, you're the doctor. Well, uh, you're, you're supposed but to be it's your answering interview. these questions. Well, if what you tell me what you you tell me what a man is, and then I can tell you whether I believe that a man is what you think it is or whether it's not. Do you know what it is? I, I do. What is it? Uh, what is you? Tell me your definition. I'll tell you if I agree with you. You're not going to answer that because we're running out of time and you're wasting okay. my time. So you don't know what a man is? I do. What is a man? What kind of test is this? What is a man? What is a man? Apparently you don't know that a man is. So let me okay. ask. Okay. Do you love black people? I love all people. And what is love? <laughs> what is love? Are you, are you not going to say that either? Uh, well, see, you're asking me rhetorical questions and I'm returning your rhetorical question. And then you don't like a rhetorical question, but you want me to answer one. Do you love the unborn child? I love people. How about the unborn, unborn child? Unborn children aren't people. I don't know what an unborn child is. I know what a fetus is. I love, know what a pregnancy is, do you but love I don't know the what fetus? Uh, I love, I love women. <laughs>
and their pregnancies, if a woman's carrying a fetus and she wants to continue, I love and will support her ability to support that. If a woman's pregnant. Listen, guys, I apologize for laughing so hard during this interview. Um, it just it's, it, it touches my funny bone a little bit more than I expected it to. Um, because <laughs> he is perplexed right now, bro. And, and it doesn't bring me joy that he's upset. It brings me joy that this gentleman sitting across from him, Jesse Lee Peterson, is just so chill and relaxed. And he's just asking questions and follow-up questions and follow-up questions. And this guy is in his feelings because he knows that there's some truth to this, man. That there's some truth to what this gentleman is saying. Pregnant is carrying a fetus and she no longer wishes to compare, carry that pregnancy. I love her enough to help her accomplish her goal safely. Amazing. This past June... But let me you, ask you a question. How, do you, how can you say you love a pregnancy more than you love the woman carrying it? I love both. Okay. So when it's not in the best interest of a woman to continue a pregnancy, how can you prioritize the fetus over the woman who's carrying the pregnancy? Because the child has a, uh, should have a chance to live what about as well. A, what about a female child who's carrying a child? What, do, does a woman have a right to, to thrive? She has a right, and so does the unborn child. Okay, and so when those interests are competing, whose interests They're are They're not important? competing. Uh, are are you a doctor? Only, are you a doctor? Only in the ego mind are you a of doctor? the selfish woman that want to kill uh, uh, the uh, child. Uh, so a woman, you don't have to be a doctor uh, to know that, man. <laughs> uh, this past June, you, you were interviewed <laughs> as part of a Shout Your Abortion event in mm -hmm. Seattle. Mm -hmm. uh, what is Shout Your Abortion? Shout to Abortion is an effort by women to reject the stigma and shame that people who feel like they are able to tell women what to do with their bodies and that they, because they can't physically prohibit them, that they try and shame them away from making their own decisions. They've decided to not stand in the shadows, just like gay people have decided not to hide their, their being gay anymore. And so they're trying to take the shame out of killing the unborn child. Well, you, you can frame it however you want. I would down walk down in okay. Los Angeles last Sunday mm -hmm. and they're trying to take the shame out of being okay well why yeah. do you want to take the well, shame they out want of to take they want they want to take the shame out of being slushed the same way people try to take the sting out of folk calling them niggers right amazing or, amazing what's so amazing about people <laughs> when people call you names beyond <laughs> your uh when people call you bro 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 Rev. that wasn't a good analogy man like that that wasn't that wasn't it, it wasn't that, that was horrible that was no <laughs> no no are you names that are intended to disparage or to embarrass or to harm you when you can't change your name maybe you can change the meaning of the word and so maybe they're calling trying to use you the a name and have an abortion or being uh perceived want to be perceived as a slut is not the same thing but let okay. me i saw a video of you there and you were on stage with an actress by the name of Martha Plimpton, and she was cheering on, yes, mm -hmm. I had an abortion in Seattle. Yep. And, and you're not the only place I've had this abortion. Yep. And she, uh, she said uh, she wanted to Yelp review of it, of her abortion. Uh, what she was, was going through your mind she was a comedian and when she this was, woman, uh, she when was, this woman she was, was sitting there celebrating killing her unborn children what was going through my mind was she was telling people who think like you that i don't really care what you think of me and then the same way that black people had to tell white people when they called and they said that you know you know somebody with your color skin can't become a physician she was telling them i don't really care what you think about me and i support anybody who finds enough self dignity self dignity and self love to say to who judge and to stigmatize and to shame them that I don't really care what you think about me. Uh, you're judging the people who disagree with you about what you're doing. No, I don't know. I don't, I don't yes, judge. you are. You're I judging them. Well, well, no, no. Well, I, yes. I came on your show in good faith. I didn't Google you. I don't know anything about you. I walked into a situation where I didn't know that you were going to be hostile or I'm I thought this was going to be uh, I'm not being hostile. Uh, 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 I thought you this was going to be You don't want to act hostile. Well, well, no, I'm you being threatened to leave uh, well, and uh, yeah, carry I'm, on. Uh, well, you know, the reason I you threatened to leave because I, I, I threatened to leave because you I don't being have to hostile. be Let me let me ask. You received that Margaret Singer award from Planned Parenthood. Is that I right? did. Amazing. What's amazing about that? Because <laughs> Planned Parenthood is wicked to the okay, core. Okay. 
they sold the unborn child body parts for yeah. profit. Are you okay uh, with a, that? It's, it's a shame that you are sitting here. Are you okay uh, with that? Repeating falsehoods. You're, I, I'm not, respectfully, I'm not calling you a liar, but you're repeating lies. You're repeating lies. Everything about that, those videos that were workshopped and created have been debunked. The people who made them are about to go to jail. And somehow you, no as a journalist to... and as a published author, it I would give you the, the, uh, the, the, well, it's been debunked. You're not telling the well, truth. Yes. That's why you're looking down at well, the floor. Well, I'm looking down because I, I'm thinking because and I'm you talking don't about, want me to see you're not telling the oh, truth. Oh, I'm telling the truth. I that can look you in That has not been debunked. Yeah, well, how why many are you plan, saying how that? How many Planned Parenthoods have no, been closed? No, why are you saying I'm that saying it is not that true? I'm saying that no, not one Planned Parenthood has been closed despite all of the government scrutiny where they went in and checked and looked for everything. Not one Planned Parenthood has been closed. Not one person's been indicted. Not one person's gone to jail. Do you consider yourself a feminist? Uh, yes, I'm a feminist. No wonder you didn't know what a man was. That is a shame, man. <laughs> so my final question for you. Yes, sir. Did you have fun? Uh, you write up my case, but you know, I am a, I am, I believe in honest disagreement. Uh, and you know, even though it got tense, uh, I, I enjoyed tense, the dialogue. Well, <laughs> that's true. He didn't get tense. He didn't get tense. The, the gentleman got tense. All right. Oh man. That was funny. That was funny. It's y'all time, man. I spent way too much time on this. This that was hilarious, y'all. Listen. Uh, <laughs> Ooh. Grow up, Dan. Grow the hell up, bro. You're having way too much fun. This topic is far too sensitive for you to be having this much fun. Grow up, man. Y'all turn. I want to hear what y'all got to say about this in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I am Van, and now we are all the LFR family. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video, hopefully inside the Patreon as well. Y'all have been amazing per usual, man. Love y'all.